first things you're going to do when you get one of the Raymarine um, Lighthouse NC2 card is you're actually going to open up your unit and this is the element so we're going to open that up and it's sealed so that water doesn't get in there and the mapping card comes with two things comes with the SD card and then it comes with the micro SD card it's the micro SD card is what you're going to put in the element unit the other one is if you're going to do an update or anything and going to use your computer you need that so this goes in with the uh, connections to the bottom facing up and that goes in and then you just shut it and once it's shut then you're ready to power it up so we'll see what it does when it first powers up and it has the new uh, lighthouse nc2 chart now things you're going to see on your chart uh, you know really highlights is uh, nav it's a navigational chart you're going to see buoys hazards uh, the navigable channel uh, other things you're going to see is like points of interest and so things like marinas, boat ramps, access points, fuel docks, parking lots, uh, things like that's going to be on that chip. You're also going to find fishing intel. And what that means is you're going to find things uh, that have uh, expert local guides have marked hot spots on this. And so you can go over them and you can actually see one of those. So that's, that's really cool. A lot of good information there. Uh, the mapping, uh, of course, covers the continuous U.S., uh, Great Lakes, uh, including Canada, and then it's also going to uh, have Alaska, Hawaii, and the Bahamas, and it's compatible again with the Axiom, Axiom Pro, and the Axiom XL, the Element, which is the unit that we're looking at here, and then also the uh, ES. GS series, uh, any of them that are running the uh, Lighthouse 3 operating system. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it uh, OK. So I told OK, and we're going to go to charts. These are apps that are on your element. Makes it very easy for you to find stuff. If I didn't want charts, I want to go someplace else. I just use my directional uh, button right here. But that's what I want, the charts. So I'm clicking. The first thing you're going to notice is that on the mapping itself, it doesn't show anything. It does show where we're located at, but there's no, you know, there's no lines in there, contour lines, so you can see what's going on. That's because we haven't told the unit what chip is inside there. So we're going to go to menu, and we're going to take menu, and we're going to go all the way down to right there. And that's more data inside there. We're going to tell it OK. And that's what we're looking for. Lighthouse NC2 North America Lakes and Coastal 2019. Tells you when it was published. 418 is a very, very new map. So we're just going to take, and we're going to go down there, and we're going to tell it OK. So, OK. Uh, record depth and density USD card. Yes, OK. All right. And then here's the other thing where you're going to set it up, your contours, uh, deep, anything that's over 25 feet is going to show up in white. And then uh, the rest of this we don't need, it, at least for right now. Uh, if we wanted to, we could run through there and uh, safety dip. So we actually don't need any of those. And uh, 24, so deep water is going to be... Uh, in the white, what other colors do they have for options? White or blue? Okay, white's good. 25 feet. Okay. All right, and then we're going to go back to the menu. And now we're going to zoom in and just see what we have for contour lines on this. And we'll just run over to the channel. And I happen to know that there is a hump, there it is, a hump that's right over top of here. There it is right there. So right away you can see that the deeper water is marked. Anything that's over 25 feet is going to be in white. So that will be the channel. They also have this part is marked. That's where the channel's going through there. That's 29 feet. 
uh, and then uh, and like right there is the uh, island that we have right there and actually a little fish mark which this is my first time to use it so I'm gonna go over that I'm guessing it's a hot spot uh oh that may be one of my my uh, waypoints <laughs> so uh, anyway yeah a fish attractor well, so it's even showing a fish attractor that was there that's a good thing it's also marked as one of my waypoints so uh, that does tell you it's a good spot uh, anyway we'll zoom back out and that's what uh, the Ray Marine Lighthouse NC2 looks like. I'll put up some uh, screen captures and let you see it. It's uh, good stuff. It's the same thing uh, on the Axiom unit.